is Lorena Lightheart from Whitmax, and we have an opportunity today to talk to two friends from down under that I want to introduce you to, uh, Dr. Mark Weatherspoon and Steve Placatoris. I was going to try to put the accent on, couldn't do it. So uh, welcome, guys. Yeah, thanks, Lorena. Wonderful. Good day. Good. Uh, good day. There you go. So um, we have a new product we're going to tell you about today and, and some inf interesting information on where it come from and how we got here. So we're going to start with you, Dr. Mark. How in the world did you get to this new product? Where did the idea come from and where are we? Well, thanks, Lorena, and wonderful to catch up with you and your viewers as well. And uh, our product range is around uh, the home care of removable dental appliances. Uh, and uh, like all of your viewers, uh, we were taught back at, uh, in our dental school days or our uh, hygiene school days, um, really just to uh, explain to our patients, we had to lay down a towel or half fill a basin full of water so that we carefully and uh, safely washed our dental appliances with a brush and soap. And, uh, you know, just after so many years of working in practice and seeing my poor old patients come in and uh, they sit down in the dental chair and they almost sort of sneakily remove their denture and put it away to the side because it's sort of like one of those unwritten things. People just don't talk about that enough. And, um, you know, uh, I suppose the, the problem is that whatever we're providing for our patients or the systems for their home care just isn't working. And, um, so I, I figured that, you know, I'll, I, I need to do something about that. Either it's too hard to use or it's not fun enough to use or people aren't understanding the importance of, of having a hygienic uh, dental appliance, whether it's a denture or a sports mouth guard or a, an orthodontic appliance and continually going back up into the mouth like a little germ factory every time you put it in uh, is, a, is a serious concern. Um, so, you know, I started working around the, the development of our three pillars, which is mechanical brushing of these appliances using a soap-based product. And the soap's important. Uh, you know, if you go to the best restaurant in, in uh, New York or Sydney or Wagga Wagga, where I'm from, you know, the glass that you put to your mouth or the knife and fork that you put to your mouth is all washed with soap and then it's stored dry. So I explained the importance of soap-based washing with a brush and then dry, dry storage. So uh, the next thing I thought, well, I'll contact a mate of mine, Steve, because, you know, as we're developing uh, the dental hygiene uh, range, um, you know, I, I want it to, to work. Uh, but uh, my mate Steve was very, very keen to make sure that it looked nice, uh, that the end result smelt nice. Uh, and, you know, it, and it was fun to use as well. So. We came up with our product range. This is the Hygiene and, uh, you know, we simply click it off and you can see uh, we've got 10 different uh, clusters of brushes in there and the dental appliance goes in there, whether it's, again, a denture or a sports mouth guard or an orthodontic liner, clusal splints, and then we click it in place. Uh, then we use our, our Dental Fresh, which is the soap that I was talking about. That's not just an ordinary soap. We've you know, adjusted the pH down to 5.0, the same as a banana. Uh, but what that does is gently dissolve any dental calculus or dental tartar, uh, often existing appliance, or probably uh, what we prefer is for people to start using it from the day they get their new appliance and prevent those germs and tartar from, you know, building up in, in the first place. So the dental fresh goes in, we put some fresh water in there and then we're just rotating those 10 brushes all simultaneously. And then we rinse off with fresh running water again. And then that's then your storage container uh, to be set aside for, for dry, uh, dry and ventilated storage. Um, and then there's the, the dental fresh, as I mentioned, that's also got a lovely peppermint uh, aroma to it, which also has an antibacterial uh, agent in it, it will act as an antibacterial agent and also a surfactant to encourage uh, rapid dry storage. Uh, not every appliance will fit into the hygiene, so we came up with the Sure Grip, which is really just the very, very, the world's best one of these uh, because we want our patients to sort of not be sort of, you know, trying to clean their appliance like that. And with the, uh, the familiar doorknob shaped handle, uh, we can hold our appliance if uh, and use it in a rotary uh, fashion. Um, like all of the little brushes, the brush tips are designed to get down into all the little cusp tips, incisor edges, in, in all the little nooks and crannies 
around uh, our dental appliances. They all come in those sort of funny shapes and, and uh, designs. Um, and also, the, the, like the hygiene, the, the uh, brushes are replaceable. Uh, we encourage our patients to replace the brush every three to four months, as often as you would replace you know, your toothbrush. Um, and really, it's as, it's as simple as that. Uh, it's, it's mechanical brushing uh, with a soap-based product uh, and then clean, uh, dry, ventilated storage. That's very cool. You know, so one of the things I was thinking of as you were showing it was that you don't have to sit there and hold your appliance in your hand anymore and, you know, be really careful as you're doing that. You can safely set it in something and off you go. So yes, I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. Now, Steve, I know that you did a lot of research on this before you brought this to market and you did some trials. What have you learned? What, what did people say uh, when they saw and tested this device? Um, yeah, we did uh, uh, invest a great deal of time and, and dare I say a great deal of money in, in product trials across all manner of users. So um, our trials ran from October to December of 2018. Um, in those trials, we had general practice dentists, orthodontists, hygienists, oral health therapists, uh, denturists, people that make removable dental appliances, and the users of, of them all. Um, and, and what we learned, a number of surprising things and a number of not so surprising things. The not so surprising was we've never seen anything like this before. Why don't we, you know, by and large, the response to it was, this is interesting, this is innovative, this works, why haven't we seen it before? And it's funny that Mark and I asked ourselves that question every day for about the first three years in this project, why hasn't anyone done it before? Um, and I, we simply have come to, to realize that the, the world was just waiting for us to do it. Um, the other, the other thing that was really quite surprising to us was the, the, um, the interest that was shown in the Dental Fresh. And, um, and Mark, I think you did a great job of, of summarizing five years of development into a four <laughs> minute explanation of the product. I know, yeah, right. I, you know, it, it literally, we started in October of 2014 and launched in November of 2019. So it was a long haul to get all this to work exactly the way we wanted it to and to keep our promises to the market. Um, the Dental Fresh, came through as being the most exciting product in the range. Whilst the brushing element is unique and the both brush products, whether it's the Hygiene or the Sure Grip, are unique to the marketplace, brushing is brushing. Um, and they're unique, but they're not unknown. The real unknown that came through was with the soap based washing product, the Dental Fresh. And from, a, uh, from a, a product score perspective, this scored very, very well um, in the research. So we came away thinking whether you use this combination or this combination, and I don't, probably shouldn't do this, but I will, even this combination it's better, probably better than what you're currently doing. Boo. It's probably better than what you're currently doing. The, um, the dental professional fraternity, the, the, the dental professional community, that aggregate of different specialties, all believe that this was a necessary, they, the, the, the trial results came back that it was an absolutely necessary uh, 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 invention or technology because they all recognized the same problem. Notwithstanding how much or how little they contribute to their home, their patients' home care practices, the patients either did and most of them didn't. So this was an opportunity, the feedback was it was an opportunity to provide them a, a, a product range or how we refer to it as a system to really raise the standard of that uh, of that home care, and those were those are really the three standouts. And that the, that last um, element or result is really important to us 
Um, as we know that dental professional fraternity is, is desperate, hungry for something to make this whole removable dental appliance hygiene standard an easier, faster, safer, you know, safer uh, 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 process. And the, the hygiene uh, concept and the product range as it works together as a system accomplishes that. So kind of in a nutshell, 157 pages of survey and trial results, that's kind of it in a nutshell. You know, I, I, I think that it's true for as long as we've all been in the dental industry and, and been working with it. I can't say I've heard a lot about taking care of or cleaning all the different type of removable appliances that are out there. I had a mouth guard. I, I don't remember anything, any special instructions on cleaning it. And, and my daughter had a retainer. Again, don't remember anything special other than, you know, running it underwater. So I, I'm very pleased on behalf of Whitmix that we're able to bring this product to the United States and to the dental market. I'm really um, excited that we're able to say that this isn't, you're not gonna find this in the retail store. That we're gonna get this out to the patients through the dentists and through the dental offices and the dental laboratories so that they can help their patients care for the mm -hmm. appliances the, as they get them, the new appliances as they get them. So yeah, thank you, Lorena, it's often, often forgotten. So any last thoughts, any last words from Australia? Oh, well, I, you know, we, we hear every day, uh, you, you know, what's going on with the health aspects of what's happening in the United States. And, um, you know, our hearts go out to, to everybody over in your country. You know, we're, we're close friends, our countries. I was over there in 2019 to play golf over mm -hmm. in California and had a wonderful time and then went over to Arkansas to play more golf. And, um, you know, everybody I met was just so friendly and, and the... Uh, yeah, and the geography and the scenery was wonderful. So, you know, um, good luck to everybody in the US and, uh, and I, I hope the globe is a better place uh, real soon. So mm. that's all. Thanks, Lorena. Thank you. Well, I look forward to seeing you both soon, as soon as we can. We Thank look you, forward Lorena. to, we look forward to getting over to the States and supporting Whitmix in, in bringing this product to market. Um, we can't thank everyone at Whitmix for, for getting behind the Dr. Mark's brand, for seeing it's used seeing it's how necessary it is we couldn't we couldn't have a better partner over there so we're very excited to be part of the Whitmix family and this going on this little journey together thank Wonderful. you thanks that's great guys I'll see you soon see you soon <laughs>